this tutorial we are going to replicate an XML schema that is used for info boxes on Wikipedia. Uh, the look of and the elements in such info boxes on Wikipedia may vary depending on the content. Uh, for books uh, we assume that the look is pretty much this way and we have uh, elements that we are familiar with from Dublin Core and other media schemas like author, title, country, language, genre. And for our example we are going to create a simple XML schema composed of a few of these elements and based on this schema we are going to create an XML instance document and for that document we are going to use the information uh, in this info box. Okay, now the first thing we are going to do is start our Eclipse uh, application as in our XML editor. You will be prompted uh, for a location called workspace. Uh, basically this is a folder where your files are going to be saved and click OK. It will take a few seconds to load up. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is uh, we need to create a project. So let's, since this is a kind of uh, intricate development environment that's called Eclipse IDE. So first you need to define a project. Go to File, and the first option is New. It's out of your screen, but select New, and go to Project. And from here, under General Category, we are going to select project next and just give it a name and this is going to be an XML schema uh, tutorial let's go to XML schema and finish now we have defined our project uh, then we need to make minor changes in the preferences and this info box is on Wikipedia and you might recall we are going to use namespaces for the elements that we, are, we will use in our schema file and those namespaces must be unique because they are kind of identifiers and by default in, uh, in Eclipse uh, all the namespaces are set as example.org so you can go to preferences under window and go to XML schema files and I, change, I have changed mine already but you can simply go to this default target namespace change wikipedia.org or if, if you're working on a different project then you can change it to something else and click OK. Go to file again new this time we're going to go all the way down to other and we have all of these different uh, options here and you're going to go to XML schema file next then name your file basically this is going to be infobox schema and just pay attention to your extension, this is XSD, basically it's an XML schema document. Finish. Now it's created. And under this panel you're seeing the properties panel, you can minimize it if you want to, so that you can have a larger screen. And this is the graphical user interface uh, design view, and if you go to source view, and you can see uh, the prologue part we have the XML version and the schema definition basically it says uh, target namespace wikipedia.org and the next one is the file name this infobox schema and it tells the prefix for the our schema uh, this namespace which is TNS if you want you can change it to you can simply change it from here to something else if you want you can say WPD, you can put whatever you want basically, there is no requirement, as long as you know you maintain a consistency and it's something not used. So basically this is our raw XML view, the source view. Go to design view. Uh, there are a few things that you need to remember. First, we need, to have a, we need to identify a root element. So we are going to go to element section, do a right click, add element and just call it infobox and when you're naming these elements again maintain a, a consistency either you can use all uppercase letters or lowercase letters which is pretty much the norm uh, other norm is basically you can start with a lowercase letter and in case there are other words that you need to incorporate you know each word starts with a, a capital letter as in this case uh, remember that uh, also your element names should not begin with XML so those things are reserved and also don't do not start with, with a number 
and by default uh, the data type is string since this is going to be a root element and for root elements we are going to have a child element basically it's going to include other elements by definition an individual element a simple type a simple element cannot include neither other elements nor attributes only complex type elements can include other elements and attributes therefore we need to change this one to a complex type and this is a custom type that you specify because it can take a different types of elements underneath we are going to have a title we are going to have a number of pages you know title may be a string and number of pages is a data it's a number field therefore there's this uh, different data types can be used hence the complex type uh, definition the distinction here you're going to set the type new and complex type is selected basically give a kind of descriptive name you can choose whatever you want but as long as it's descriptive and make sure it is consistent with the rest of the document and click OK now we have an element and the data type here double click on the data type here we are now we now we are going to start attaching or including the sub elements for this root element and let's do a right click on this one then you're going to see add element option our first element is going to be author okay and by default it puts string unless you want to change something else that is fine do another right click add element and which is original title again this is uh, there are two words here and I will just do like this you can use underscore which is acceptable also we didn't have an element called display title but we had a display title at top you might remember if you look at the document we have another title up here again the display title might be different than the original title sometimes original titles can be very long so let's incorporate a display title element here you can cl either click the whole area here and do a right click up here or if you want to you know insert an element that say right after author or right after this another one you can do right click on the element and insert element then you'll give an option to insert before and after so this is going to be our display title do another right click and language oh. language we have genres we have publisher we have publication date and we have number of pages page is a number so it's an integer so we can do a right click and we can set the type and this is another kind of complex type anything like that so you can browse and look at the elements that, that are uh, appropriate uh, data type that's appropriate for this element and the appropriate one is the integer basically a number ranges from 0 to uh, another whole number so we're gonna select integer basically now we have created the basic part of the schema let's look at the source view and this is our root element that's what we are seeing and underneath we have author, original title, display and others and now we can think about to what extent some elements may repeat or whether they are required or optional also you may want to consider incorporating some encoding schemes ele for elements such as language and publication date that you might recall from uh, assignment number one uh, we can use encoding scheme for language and encoding scheme for publication date where we can use four digit year and two digit month and two digit day in this case we can use four digit month four digit year and two digit month so before we doing that uh, let's go to the design view and specify whether which elements are actually required or uh, optional by default unless it's specified all the elements are required and can uh, appear only one time they are not repeatable so for author element for example we can simply set multiplicity 
have because for certain books we may not necessarily know the uh, who authored the book so we can make it zero or more because some books may have multiple authors and for original title let's say they are required and you can simply explicitly specify one one same thing for display title language let's say it is required one time uh, there might be multiple genres so let's say one or more publisher again uh, which is one publication date let's say in some cases you may not necessarily know the publication date let's say zero or one and pages it is uh, required okay now we set the requirements if you go to source view you can see a maximum occurs versus minimum occurs if maximum occurs set the unbound which basically that element can repeat as many times as you want you can set an element to repeat maybe up to five times if need be now we can consider incorporating some attributes for uh, language and publication date elements again remember a simple type element like this string integer those elements cannot include any child elements or attributes they have to be complex type therefore we need to change the type of uh, language and publication date elements first then we can incorporate or include some attributes and elements for those uh, these two elements first we are going to set a new type again it's going to be a complex type and let's call it element type and we are going to same type for publishing publication date you can create a different type if you want to but in this case it's okay to create the same type because we are going to incorporate the same uh, attributes and the same elements for uh, those two uh, elements so we are going to set type this time means we have already created the element type which is already available in the type list here we are going to browse therefore and here's the element type click OK now click on the element type now we are going to incorporate an attribute let's call it scheme and now we need to assign values for this language and publication data elements right so for that we need to create another element this time because it's going to have value and let's call it just name and let's look at the source view how it is being displayed here and you see this is the complex type that we have the element type that we have created which is an element and also which is an attribute and here's the language which is an element type same for publication date let's save it design view also you can make sure your schema is uh, well formed you can do a right click on your schema file do a validation okay it is valid now the next step is to create an XML instance out of this uh, XML schema document